I'm Avinash Shindrakar with my friends Sherish Lakhu and Chandra Bhatia. We are from Marchand College of Engineering Sangli and Electronics Department. Our project title is Zigbee Based Industrial Data Acquisition and Monitoring. Under the guidance of Professor Sanjay Dagudu sir. Friends, our project is Zigbee Based Data Acquisition System and Monitoring. Here we have used a Zigbee module which is very strong wireless module, way better than Bluetooth module in terms of distance parameter and the power consumption. Now we move on to the, uh, the process circuitry controller. The control we have used is the AVR family at Mega 328P. The project we have decided aims at chemical plant which has certain parameters to be tested and monitored. Some of them are temperature and pH which stands for potential of hydrogen ions. Okay. The other things which are, which are important in the chemical factory is fire alarming and the, uh, the security access control motion detector. Here we have used five sensors. One of them is a distance sensor which is used as a liquid level sensor. The model number of this sensor is SCSR04. It's an ultra ultrasonic distance model which we have transformed it to measure the liquid level from the container. This is our PIR sensor which stands for passive infrared sensor which detects the motion uh, of the, uh, the person which, uh, who is passing by. So decided to use PS sensor but the, the, the electrode we have used uh, won't be able to give the uh, continuous testing of the pH. In that place we have used a pH emulator with certain processing circuit and the potentiometer which gives pH values from 0 to 14. This is the LCD display of, of our project. Right now it's showing the temperature value continuously you know changing and the, the real time values. The next is uh, fire alarm status, PR alarm status and pH values. These two LEDs are indicators for these alarms. The motion detection and MQ2 gas alarm. The buzzer we have associated with the highly prior prioritized smoke sensor. This is our Zigbee module. This is a VIP antenna of the Zigbee module. The, uh, the supply, uh, power supply designing we have used, we have prepared at our own using the, the circuitry. Okay, now we move on to the user interface at the coordinator. Okay. This is our coordinator Zigbee, which receives the data and also transmits the data from the end device Zigbee. It is also series 2 Zigbee, the same module. The GUI we are looking at is VB, uh, Visual Basic based user interface. We have prepared couple of tabs. One tab showing the connection settings. As we can see, it's showing the COM port, the baud rate, parity, stop bits, data bits, and the start and stop control uh, commands, I mean, uh, push buttons. The store, okay. it is the, uh, and we have provided a facility for storing our data, uh, which will be continuously as, uh, we you can see on the serial port communication it is gets continuously updated the first value is for temperature second is for pH third is the status of PIR and fourth is for smoke and next value is for the distance as it uh, you can see it is continuously recording the data with the timestamp moving on to next tab that is our gauge and bar This tab will show uh, the incoming data on the various uh, toolbox facilities such as graph. On the graph we have temperature and pH. The temperature is indicated by green light uh, and pH is uh, indicated by fire. So since the uh, for and temperature uh, and pH can be threshold by these two buttons. You can enter the these are the two edit boxes. You can enter the value and update the threshold and threshold is for uh, indicating the uh, whether the data is uh, has exceeded its limit or not on this status box we have uh, showing the current value of the temperature and ph uh, it will also comment on whether the uh, temperature is moderate or exceeded based on the threshold that is been set and uh, the counter uh, which is right now showing 000, zero, zero will show the number of time the temperature has exceeded its limit uh, than previous. Uh, right, uh, likewise for smoke and PIR. It will again show the current status of the smoke and PIR alarm with the counter. And these three bars we have used 
वी आर इंडिकेटिंग द लिक्विड लेवल ऑफ द कंटेनर इन अ केमिकल प्लांट ओके द मोमेंट इट रिसीव्स द वैल्यूज फ्रॉम द डिस्टेंस सेंसर दैट इज एस सी एस आर जीरो फोर इट गोज ऑन फिलिंग अप अकॉर्डिंगली द वैल्यूज आर ओके वी मूव ऑन टू द डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन नाउ नाउ वी लुक एट द एम क्यू टू गैस सेंसर वेन एवर वी प्रोवाइड स्मोक टू द एम क्यू टू गैस सेंसर द एल ई डी इंडिकेटर टर्न्स ऑन एंड एट द सेम टाइम वी कैन वी कैन सी वी कैन सी द स्टेटस ऑन द एल सी डी दैट इज फायर ऑन एंड फायर ऑफ नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू द डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट वी स्टार्ट विद द एम क्यू टू गैस सेंसर नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू द डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन नाउ वी स्टार्ट विद द एम क्यू टू गैस सेंसर डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन फर्स्ट वी प्रोवाइड स्मोक टू द गैस सेंसर इट शोज द स्टेटस ऑन एल सी डी एज वेल एज ऑन द जी यू आई now we are showing the demonstration for smoke sensor as the uh, smoke is detected it will show the status on lcd lcd the status is shown on lcd consequently on the gui now we will now we will see the demonstration for pr sensor as i move on, As I move hand uh, over the PR region, it will glow the LED. Consequently, on the uh, LCD on of the project, and same on the GUI. Look at the demonstration of the PR sensor. Here is our PR sensor. Whenever we pass a hand, our hand in front of the PR sensor, the LED turns on and the status also changes. At the same time, the status also sent to the coordinator GUI. Here, here we can see the PR status shows on. now we we look at the lm35 temperature sensor so now shuru kiya da now we are seeing the demonstration for ps sensor as i am going uh, go on increasing the value of pot the ph value will be shown on the display on at the same time and same on the gio the gio will record the data of the ph as you can see for this region uh, i moved uh, the values from 0 to 14 so as it is recorded on the gui okay. question for the distance sensor again 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 now now we are seeing the uh, demonstration for the distance sensor since the uh, i haven't kept any obstacle in the distance uh, sensor the bar is filled uh, with zero value we are using here sc uh, hcsr04 for the distance sensor now for the demonstration paper i am using a plank or a pcb board uh, but it will show the same behavior behavior for the level of the liquid in the container so as i am going on uh, reducing the distance between the two ob uh, object that is sensor and the pcb the bar gets fill up and Uh, right now the one sensor value is connect uh, linked with the three containers uh, on the future scope we can link with the different sensors so as i am reducing the distance it will the bar will go on fill up, fill, filling up and if i am uh, remove the label the it will show uh, bar with the zero fill we see the demonstration of the lm35 temperature sensor it's very precise integrated circuit temperature sensor which gives the exact temperature of the surrounding in degree centigrade now we can see on the display we have 32 degree centigrade that is the room temperature being shown on the lcd display simultaneously the this value will be shown on the gui as well since our controller is avr family at mega 328 we adopted the arduino ide for developing our code for sake of simplicity now we make ourselves familiar with the environment on which we did our program as we speak and see the in id window there are certain a tool bar showing cap compile option upload option save upload and open 
There are tools where we select the board and the board when we connect our board to the IDE. Now the sketch in which we write our code, it has two important sections. Those are board setup and board load. In, for initially, we have to declare the libraries and declare the libraries. As we can see, we have declared hash include liquid crystal dot hash. This library is for the LCD display. After that, we have we have declared the variables we are going to use. Variables we are going to use for the entire code. Okay, and the pins as well. Now the void setup. Void setup includes the initialization commands of the pins as well as serial communications, interrupts, and all that. As we can see, the LCD commands for the initialization of LCD, set cursors, print, etc. Now we move on to void loop. This is a section of the code which repeatedly executes itself. Now we have created a function which takes the sensor values, five sensor values, and we have written all those functions in a take reading. Function okay and call the function in the void loop. Yes. Take reading function will take the five important sensors reading that is distance, temperature, and pH and the smoke status. Smoke status indicated by A and pH status by B. The CM will record the value provided by distance function in the centimeter. These are the two interrupt functions. Two interrupt functions will go the change the value status that is smoke is on either or PR is on and it will also display, update this display moving on to the next question that is distance this will generate uh, this function is pretty much uh, for initializing the uh, pins as well as uh, calculation for the time duration of the wave sent out and received this is the, the this function when return the value in the long time which will show the value see hello friends uh, now we will see the demonstration for the gvi uh, which is made in uh, visual studio this is the setup file which i have generated uh, for our project that is cp based data acquisition and monitoring Double clicking the file will open the file in the Microsoft Visual Studio. And this is the form one. The code which I have written in this the text editor is with the programming language C sharp. These are the uh, name phrases used, uh, which will generate. Likewise, we have, you have to uh, add them for like the hash include library files. And this is the code for the related design which is created so far we have generated uh, a little bit lengthy code but this is the design in this design we have created uh, uh, two tabs one for settings and second is for indicating the status of the uh, chemical factory in the settings uh, setting tab we have connection setting in, in which we can uh, configure editable com code right now we are you know, connecting to the common code we can edit uh, portrait which is standard uh, we are using 9600 parity bit stop bit and data bits uh, the start button will link it to the uh, uh, com port like this. Connect to the long bit. Uh, pressing the start bit will display the serial port communication with display the, with the timestamp and the uh, data. We are here. We are uh, in our project. We are worried about uh, five data. That is first is the temperature. Um, pH and alarm sensors and distance sensor. The store section will uh, save that uh, save the data incoming data in the uh, 
the name file or the directory you want to save with the form format desired to use. The save button will generate a link for saving the data. And save button, hitting save button will save the file in the current on that respective directory. Moving on to second data tab, we have created uh, for we have generated the graph for two uh, two our major sensors that is temperature and pH. Temperature ind is indicated by green light, green light, and a pH is indicated by blue light. And the respective uh, threshold values is shown on the status bar that is uh, temperature with 109 and pH with 110. The comment is also uh, given in the uh, just below the uh, values indicated. These values are, can be these are the threshold depending upon the number uh, the value of the threshold the comment will be set. Right now we have set uh, the threshold for temperature is 75. If I write temperature like threshold for 120 and hit update threshold, it will update the threshold to 120 and show it will show that temperature is moderate. But for pH 10, the uh, value for pH threshold with 6 is also updated. That's why it is showing pH updated. 10, 11, update. Nine, show. And these are the counters which will show you that the number of times uh, the pH has been exceeded among the data is shown by the sensor.